Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, middle of the week, and uh, Don Airy here got another short main story for you. I thought I'd dedicate a few videos to the to the more unique places that uh, if you decide to come to Maine, and you know the tourist season's going to open up here in a couple of months, and uh, there's a few unique places to visit, which means that's that's a key word for odd. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're unique, and one of them I I tell all of my passengers about. Uh, you know, they like to go around to the the different uh, craft beer places, you know, breweries, you know, and I, I wink at them and I say, uh, I'll deliver, but I don't pick up. <laughs> that's, and that's the truth, you know, I, I, well, I, I keep a clean, clean car, you know, I have a clean car, I don't want anybody messing it up. So I deliver out to the breweries, but I don't pick them up there. You know, at least it's after 8 o'clock, I don't, I don't pick them up. But nestled down on Thompson's Point, there's uh, four or five breweries and there's a winery. And nestled in among them, is a place called the International Cryptozoology Museum. You ain't never heard anything like this because it's the only one in the whole wide world. And they have uh, artifacts and drawings and and uh, legendary things all about the, the different weird and mythological creatures from all around the world. Sasquatch and Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster and mythological creatures from up in the north woods here in Maine and way out there in Washington State, all around the world. They get things from all over the place, you know, and I, I'd tell you to come up and see it, but unfortunately, of course, you know, like all, all the breweries probably down there too, they, they've closed. You know, and I'm going to have to read you their, their statement, you know, because it's, it's really, it's, it's kind of sad. And this is what they have on their website there today. It is with great sadness upon the exact anniversary day that 60 years ago brought me into the field of cryptozoology, the museum has been shuttered indefinitely. We are not sure if it will be two weeks, six months, 18 months, or two years. But we have been thrown in the we've thrown in the face masks and latex gloves. We tried to limit admissions, cleaned constantly, but the infections are getting closer. You know that the coronavirus thing is just creeping up closer and closer. To keep our staff and the patrons safe too, we have closed. The museum cannot deliver curbside service. You know they can't bring the the artifacts out out to you, of course. But our crypto store and donation site will remain open online via the emails. And this will cause minimal revenues, probably only 5% of our budget. Ain't that awful? Ain't that pathetic? I feel bad for them. I really do. We plan to file for loans, grants, and more. But our prospects, frankly, look bleak until we can open again. There's no hopeful bridges reaching before us presently. Everyone stay safe, and we hope to see you online on the other side. This is a statement from Lauren Coleman, Director, International Cryptozoology Museum. And I'm going to do my part to help them out by giving you links at the bottom of the, of the video here to their online donation site and their online store. They have all kinds of neat things. You can buy things with Bigfoot t-shirts, you know, and badges and all kinds of cool things, you know. So uh, the fact that they nestle that little store in among all these craft breweries it's just, to me, it's just hilarious. And I tell my customers that going down, that, that they don't even know about it, you know, because it's, it's got a big wooden statue of uh, Bigfoot out in front of it. And I say, you know, it, it's kind of ironic. You know, you go down and visit all them craft stores. You get yourself a buzz on, and you go visit that store. By gorries, you'll be a true believer after that. Hey, yeah. Uh...